All right, welcome everyone to Satisfactory. Uh, I should start out by saying that this is a early access game, so there will be lag, there will be issues as they're still working on optimizing it. However, they've done an amazing job so far with what this game can handle. But just keep that in mind. So if you see a little bit of a freeze frame here and there, don't freak out. It's just they're still not to the point where it's fully optimized. And I am obviously trying to record at the highest possible settings I can get the game to run at without it completely pooping itself. But nevertheless, we have just landed. I don't even remember the planet name. So there's that. But basically, we've been thrown onto this planet with the responsibility of gathering resources building factories and being able to help some distant civilization I guess that we're from do their thing and we're basically a slave which is kind of fucked up but our first order of business is we need to dismantle this pod so we can build a hub and I think she's going to tell us more here in a second make sure you have your Xeno Zapper equipped so we do So that third objective. Oh. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. All right. So Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. I forgot my nuts. Hold on. That's not something you hear every day, huh? I forgot my nuts. Um. This so. Uh, God, damn. Minor this lady keeps interrupting. <laughs> further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Oh, she's yelling at me about my nuts. Um, so I have got some minor time into this game already through a few failed streaming and recording sessions. So I already have a grasp on the basics. Basically, the reason I'm picking up nuts because they're food. Um, they have healing properties, so they give you health back. The resource scanner works like this. We have to scan for an ore somewhere. So we have some up the hill, apparently, that we can take a look for. Um, and I'm also picking up leaves and stuff kind of as I go because Initial it's very limited. Reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. So apparently you can use that for painting down the road. What is this? It's kind of scary. That thing's neutral. He's not going to hurt us. But we need to we need to find a place to set up if it at the least a temporary zone. But we want to do it without running into something that wants us dead, which is my primary concern. Seeing as I am currently by myself, and this is the first time playing through this game completely by myself, so I don't really have any backup. If something goes down, I kind of have to cover my own ass this time, which shouldn't be too bad. Down here, I just want to take a peek around, see what we have. Now, these things over here, which I'm gonna paint right there on the screen, and I'll zoom in if necessary if it's hard to see on the on the video. But those are some sort of flying bug or creature that pop out of those. They're a bit like basically a hive. So we really don't want to screw with that. Although that looks like coal to me next to it. So let's scan for the iron again just to see. I believe it was up here. Pick up some more bio stuff as we go. Because we want to use that for fuel to start off with. And it's very limited because we are on like a desert planet. Uh, oh, there's a doggo. Now these things are basically like little pets that you can have. When you look away, they walk closer to you and if we find berries we can actually make them a pet which is pretty cool but well, looks like we've got iron over here so we'll grab all the nuts we can so that we're good to go because we will have to kill those bugs and I have excuse me I have died right off the bat to them before okay so we have two deposits so that'll be good for getting iron. And I'm hoping there's something over there, which I'm hoping is copper. 
We need copper and stone. We need a lot of stone. Oh, what is that? There's a slug over here. Grab these two while we're at it. Why not? Kind of clear this area out. Take a peek around. I hear badness over there, so I'm not going to go over there. Alright, let's fight these things and see how it goes. Oh, boy. Oh, ow, 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 ow. These are dangerous. Where is it? Oh, I can't spin fast enough. Oh, I got that one. Where's the last one? Oh, man, I can't see him. Run. Holy oh, shit. Holy crap. All right. I'm sure someone just threw up somewhere from looking at my screen, so... Sorry about that. That's Studying the, the remains of oh. this creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. I recommend analysis. So we can probably unlock tools by researching that. There's a little tool inside this hub that we need to build called a MAM. Uh, molecular analysis machine. Uh, machine. Wow. Build the hub. Let's just forget that happened. Note: To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. So that's why we had to pick up the drop pod when we did. What is this thing? Oh, that's not legit. Floating mushroom. Or some sort of... Well, I guess let's go ahead. Let's build hub here. Which, I'm going to build it... I'm going to build it like this. Because I believe that means the door will be towards where I'm standing. So there we go. So there we, now we have the hub, which is our starting base. Now we need to upgrade Congratulations. it. Congratulations. You have unlocked... Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Alright, so tier. We need to do this milestone, so we'll select it. This gives us all the things we need to really get started. Portable miners will be good. So we just need rods. So we go in here, we make ingots from the ore. And we can make all the rods that we need. We gotta be careful too, because we have yet to get storage, and I really don't want to screw this up. Hey, there we go. Alright, now we have storage. Congratulations. We'll take a small stack. You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator. So now we've got a hub biomass feature, generator. Storage. And we've got Scanner this. Feature, copper. Oh, so now we can scan for a copper too. Let's see if there's anything close. I think there's one over here. Yep. Yeah, but that's way farther away than I thought. Unless I'm mistaken. I think it's over there. But it's not. Alright, we don't want to mess around with that too much yet. Let us figure out what we need in order to upgrade the hub again. So we are going to need copper. But we can go ahead and we'll make the iron real quick. And I'm going to kind of back and forth fast forward through some pieces of me making items. So don't freak out if suddenly it speeds up. I just don't want to make you guys have to sit and watch me do all of that stuff. As I go along. Excuse me. We need 10 plates. And I'm going to make exactly what I need as I go along just for right now. So I'm not wasting. T well, okay. Literally, I said that and I wasn't paying attention. So never mind on that. Now I need copper. So this is going to be the fun part because I think it's getting dark too, which I'm not really a fan of. Do I have a second slot yet? No, I don't. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we're going on a little adventure here to go get some copper. So it looks like it's up here somewhere. What is that? There's something right there. 
Unless that's it right there. That would be awesome if it is, because that means that we've got this whole area here we can kind of use. Oh, it is. Oh, hell no. Oh, run. Those things are... Oh, those things are dangerous. Oh, he's still coming. Oh, he's still coming. Oh. Where is he? I don't know if I'm going to have a choice. I might have to kill it in order to get over there. I think that's more iron. Let's go out this way. I really don't want to fight anything as it's coming up to nighttime. Yeah, that's definitely got to be some kind of coal down there. But there's one of those poison spitter things. Really quickly, I'm just going to heal up with some nuts. Just kind of... They give you about a half of what would be a heart in Minecraft, but I don't... I guess we'll just call it that here, too. Ooh, that's dangerous. I don't want to be... Oh, man. I don't know where that other one went. And there's those bugs up here that I don't want to screw with. There he is. Is this stone? This looks like stone. Yes, limestone. Awesome. That sounds bad. Needless to say, I'm not very keen on... Fuck! I'm gonna have to kill one. Because it's next to the copper. Those poison ones are dangerous, so... There is a very... What I would consider a very high risk of death with this one. So I guess... Here goes nothing. That's never been that easy. What? All right. Well, there's that. This is, is this pure? No, it's impure. So I don't remember the exact numbers, but in satisfactory, the way it works as of right now, because of course this is all subject to change. There are different levels of purity. I think it's pure, normal and impure. And you get different amounts of each ore depending on, like, there's different production rates for whatever rating it has. So, before I risk death again, let us run and put this stuff in storage. And that way, if I do die, it won't be as heartbreaking, because I won't lose all that stuff. I think you get a little chest if you die, but right now this early into things I don't want to risk that I don't want to put any sort of risk out if at all possible because I want to get this done as quickly as possible and as non horrifically as possible but what we'll do is we'll put this stuff away and then we'll go kill that thing after we get this leveled up and here we are Let's go ahead and get this stuff made. All right. I'll go ahead and upgrade it again. Whoa. We should have somewhat of a building now, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it said player upgraded. Okay, so I can scan new things now, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and let's put some of this stuff away so I don't risk losing it. Uh, okay, what's next here? So more, more, more iron. I'm glad I picked up that stone. So we'll need all the iron I can get my hands on. So I'll have to mine some more. What does it take? Oh, I don't have a equipment workshop yet. Let's mine this real quick. But I really want to throw some 
portable miners on here because you need portable miners anyways in order to make the full um, automated miner. So it's not like it's coming at a loss. It's a very efficient way of you get to reuse it after you're done. But in, I can leave it. It doesn't require electricity or power or anything. And it'll just run. All right. I think we've got everything. So plate, plate, concrete, wire. Upgrade again. We need number three. So now we have to work on number four. What did we unlock this time? Oh. Congratulations. You have unlocked new buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Awesome. So everything we need to kind of get automation started slowly. A smelter, so we can make ingots from ore. Constructor can make a single piece item, I believe. And the equipment workshop will give me the ability to make the portable miners. Which will at least automate mining temporarily. Um, let's see what the next task here is. So storage. Oh, the miner. So we actually need the miner to, to well, mine. Uh, and then inventory slot. So we can have, oh, well, I was going to say I can hold nuts, but I really don't want to say that out loud. That sounds really bad. Um, but so we can carry two different items at once and switch between them, which will be good. So I guess let's get started on that, and I will meet you back when that is done. All right, we got everything we need. We'll do it again. Don't know why I said it like that. We have... Oh, we have almost full interior. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass generator. Here. New buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Ah, uh, we have the miner. Now I can start setting up automation because we have power lines. The So it seems like there is no real preference when it comes to which is more important, iron or stone or copper, but we really just need to get all of them going. So... That's the next step here is automation because the sooner I can get that going, the better I think I'll be. Um, just got to figure. Let's see here. So we have leaves. Let's see what we have for biomass. Because it's probably not a lot. Oh, 168. But that'll burn up pretty quick. Yeah, so there's that. That's what we have of that. Uh, well, let's see what the next step is here. So the final upgrade, which gives us the inventory slot, the space elevator. Object scanner. And a solo burner, which will be good. So that's kind of the next upgrade. Actually, I think that's the only upgrade that we can do. What is this? Oh. Oh. So I guess we'll select that since that is the next milestone, but step one is going to be automation. Uh, so where do we want to start with that? Um, well, the first thing is we will need three miners for... Oh, and those are fairly cheap too. We'll need three miners, a stone, iron, and copper. We will need... Two smelters, copper and iron, to start with, because we're not going to be running at max efficiency right off the bat. We can start working towards efficiency as we get along with it. But seeing as those are cheap, well, so what is a smelter? Uh, I don't remember what the rate of input is. Let's start with the two. Let's just start with the. Um. Oops, that's not what I want. Uh, so a constructor. We'll need that for concrete. We'll need that for rods, for plates, for wire, and for cable. So a minimum of five. Which, that's going to be the killer right there, is the reinforced iron plates. 
But if we can automate it in a way that we start producing what we need for those plates first, then that might make it a little easier. But all in all, those resources to get going aren't too bad. We also need to worry about power. We'll probably need... I'm just going to make a really rough shot of just 10, just to give us plenty of working room. And power lines, we'll need a ton of cable for. So let's set that to... Let's just set this up to like 30. That way, again, we have plenty of working room to make sure we have power. Uh, and then what we can do is we'll use the biomass burner on the hub to run the miners as much as we can. But we'll have to watch biomass. And we should, we should make... A storage container for each of the three items too so that they flow into that uh, I don't think I have mergers unlocked yet either so I'll need actually five storage containers because there'll be five lines coming out well no actually if I don't have ooh, I gotta think about this so if I don't have I just want you guys to be able to hear my thought process on it if you guys have tips Feel free to leave a comment down below. I have worked with this before and designed layouts. It's just starting fresh, trying to do it differently. Um, that's kind of catching me up here because I do want to make it so that down the road, we're slowly building up and getting better as we go so that with the next updates and as we get more items, it'll be less of a hassle. I have to reorganize or, or worry about any of that. Uh, let's see here. So, at minimum, we'll have three miners, and two smelters for ingots, which that's fine, and then the five constructors. The problem is I can't split out of the smelter. So we'll only be able to start with two until I can unlock that. So what we'll do is it'll be just one storage, or it'll be just two storage containers. Can I not drop that down? Yeah, there we go. So that kind of drops the list a little bit, which makes it easier to get started. Um, my only concern now is just going to be conveyor belts, which just are plates. I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this up to, well, I'll put that up to a hundred because that's well within reason and I'll put conveyor pole. Whoops. That's not what I want to do. We will put conveyor poles up to, uh, 50 because that's reasonable. And then I think we have a pretty good list of just what we need to start because what we can do too is we can just manually switch over what the constructor is building as we need different pieces because my game plan here is to you'll have the miner the smelter right behind it but then everything's going to feed to a line of constructors um, that's nearby to a point where um I can access them pretty easily. It'll probably be kind of in this area here. We'll clear this out. We'll collect all the leaves. And and that way we have plenty of materials for biomass. Um, but yeah, everything will run via conveyor belt to my area. So that, that way everything that's being actually assembled nearby, the only thing that's far away, will be the miner and smelters. I don't want to put the smelters over here because I, I mean, they literally make one item, so it's not like it's a huge concern to have to worry about them. At least as far as I know. I guess we'll just have to see when we get to that point. But we'll clear this out as best we can. See how many leaves we can get. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through, I'm going to clear this out, and then we shall come back after and see where we're at. What is this? Please tell me there's no creatures. Get up here, take a look. 
So there's some kind of pod back here too that we can work on opening. I don't know if it needs power or what. I guess let's collect whatever's fallen out of it. Computer, that's good. Some really high level stuff that might give us a little bit of a backup. Got some, ooh man, 96 cable, that'll make a difference. Uh, I don't think I can take apart any of this, right? No. Nothing else lying around, no more materials. Is this open? Four rotors. When we get the four rotors, we can come back and then open that. But yeah, so we're in a pretty good spot for what it is. Um, to at least get started. And we can always move everything later. That's the beauty of this game is, unlike most games where you build stuff, if you disassemble something, you only get back half of the parts in those games. But in this game, you disassemble something, you get back everything. So you can literally just tear down, rebuild, tear down, rebuild, tear down, rebuild. And as someone who's very, like, OCD about how I place things, that is that is big for me. But uh, I guess this is a good point to call it for this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Satisfactory Single Player. Um, and if you guys enjoy it, you want to see more, let me know. Thumbs up, comment. That stuff does make a difference. And that's why everyone says it. And thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.